secondary electrochemical cells known better as rechargeable batteries most famous technologies lead acid nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride lithium ion lithium ion polymer what parameters define a good battery it's a hard question to be answered about what points consumers should be careful when choosing a battery first specific energy density expressed in what hour per kilogram second specific power in what pa per kilogram this is interesting in case of electric vehicles because it represents the aptitude for acceleration three charge discharge cycle life expressed as a number of cycles to 80 percent of initial cap capacity then the most confusing parameter is the capacity expressed in ampere hour or watt hour this is the most important parameter since batteries are considered as reservoirs of energy the capacity is given by the equation c equal i times t integrated so a battery capacity is rated cx in ampere hour where x represents the time in hours during which the battery could provide a constant current equals cx divided by x example a 100 ampere hour c20 battery is able to supply current of 5 amperes for 20 hours certainly this same battery could supply more or less currents for different durations the issue is that the battery discharge time would be no longer 20 hour 20 hours but another value given by Peckert's law cp equals to i power k times t if by chance we take a battery rated c20 equal 100 ampere hour and having Peckert number of 1.1 battery with a capacity of 100 ampere hour and delivering 5 amperes discharge time t equal 20 hours if the same battery is delivering 10 amperes the discharge time t will be equal according to Peckert law 100 divided by 10 power 1.1 equals to 7.94 hour and not 10 hours like we instinctively think new capacity is c equals to i times t equals to 10 times 7.94 equals to 79.4 ampere hour always with the same battery if delivering 2 amperes the discharge time t will be equal to 100 divided by 2 power 1.1 equal 46.65 hour hours and not 50 hours new capacity is c equals to i times t equals 2 multiplied by 46.65 equals to 93.3 ampere hour manufacturers use this trick to rate capacity in ampere hour and not in watt hour in fact cx is the nominal capacity the one that gives the nominal current and the best performances of a given battery some remarks the rating capacity in ampere hour doesn't account for voltage while in watt hour does Peckert law doesn't recon temperature effects let's continue with parameters charging time in hours should be as short as possible six self discharge per month in percentage should be low the cell voltage in, vo in volts 
uh, for example, lithium batteries have high voltages reach reaching 3.8 volt per cell. This parameter is set by the electric potential of the oxido reduction couple used in the cell electrodes. Other parameter is the overcharge tolerance. Okay, so when a battery is considered discharged, the voltage drops until it reaches a predefined cutoff voltage. Roughly, it's about uh, 175 volt per cell for lead acid, 1 volt per cell for nickel based systems, 3 volt per cell for lithium ion. At these levels, about 95% of the energy is spent and the voltage will drop drastically if discharging were to continue. This in turn leads us to speak, uh, to speak of battery's discharge curve. The discharge curve expresses the voltage in function of capacity and discharge current. Let's consider a 3.3 volt per cell battery with a capacity of C20 equals to 4.2 ampere hour and a cut off voltage of 3 volt per cell and discharging with different rates 1C, 10C, 20C, 22C, 25C. 1C corresponds to a discharge current of 4.2 divided by 20 that equals to uh, L.21 A amperes while 20C corresponds to a discharge current of 4.2 amperes for our example. 